Hey, this is Metal Mike, and welcome to the new column. Today's column is called Three Pronged Crown. And today we are going to talk about harmonizing riffs. We are going to start with one bass riff, and we're going to put on two other guitar parts for one killer sounding um, guitar example. Check it out. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to show you the first part, the bass line. This lick is in E Aeolian or E natural minor scale. You will see that there is quite a bit of bottom low E pedal tone. And let me show you how the parts go. This is your first little section. <laughs> Right? Moving in. So you kind of do a little jump. You repeat the first part. You have this little uh, internment lick. And then you have a walk up on the sixth string. So this is how this example goes. Okay, so to harmonize this lick, I am going to use the most common harmony, which is the third. Here it is. Okay, so when I came up with this harmony, I basically thought in thirds. So the initial lick was... So instead of now the E note, I played it right here on the G. Right? So you have, basically you could actually hear the harmony. I heard it, right? So it's almost like when you have this little harmony, your fingers kind of already have the, the motor skills in it because the notes always have to correspond. So I know if I go and I figure out my harmony notes, when I know which one's the first one, in other words, I basically just move the fingers along to what the, the melody is. And that's, that's the simple part, okay? So we have Now your initial lick goes My harmony now goes We're doing that in thirds So um, you'll be able to hear that in a second When I go back to the initial idea the first riff goes, I go back again in the thirds. Now you have the initial lick picks up on the notes C and E. 
So I go right here, I go E and G. This all works out very well. And the next part you have is the climb up. The initial idea goes. So instead of starting on the F sharp, I move it up to the, the third, the A, and I move it along in the same scale, the E minor scale. Right, so as long as you got the notes, you basically move it up the same amount of notes as long as they're a third away. That's how I came up with that little riff. Okay, so we have our main melody line. We harmonized it in third, and now we are going to add yet another harmony that is a third above the second one we put in. So you're gonna have a three-part guitar riff, okay? Check this out. Okay, so let me break down the new harmony that I just put down. And you have to be aware that all, all this harmonizing, all these notes are within the E Aeolian or E natural minor scale. So no matter what you hear coming out of the speakers, it's some sort of variations of only those notes. Okay, so once you take away all the notes you won't be using, this will be a lot easier for you to visualize on your guitar fretboard. Okay, again, this is a motif, a musical motif that I basically start on a different part of the fretboard and I sort of keep the motor fingers according to the, to the way the melody is shifting around. Okay, so our initial riff went like this. Now a third above that, if you guys remember, went like this. Now the new one we just played is a third above that. They all sort of like stuck up together. So the second time through, our original riff went. So now our harmony goes. And then you have the climb up. So the original climb up went. For this last harmony, we're going to start on C. And you have to remember, those are all notes in the E natural minor scale. Good luck. <laughs>